Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, sa video po na to, papakita ko naman sa inyo yung halimbawa na ating reading recovery plan for this school year. So, nag-face-to-face classes na nga tayo. Pero, of course, may mga gap pa rin regarding sa skills at reading, uh, skills and knowledge ng ating mga sudyante. Dahil nga nag-pandemic, of course, na limited yung face-to-face classes, merong gap pa rin na nabuo. Of course, ang mga problems or challenges na na-encounter or adjustment ng ating mga sudyante ngayong face-to-face classes. So, yan yung pag-aaralan natin sa video na to. Muli kasama ninyo si Teacher Min. Uh, bago natin simulan itong video na ito, kung di ka pa nakasubscribe sa akin channel, click me subscribe at yung notification bell para mag-updated ka sa mga latest educational video. Okay, una nga, ito yung objectives natin for this reading recovery plan. Improve the learner's reading skills in all six components. Okay, yung phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, vocabulary, comprehension, listening, and writing. Those are the skills that our learners must have Of course, ito yung mga dapat na meron na sila o na ma-master na nila ngayong specially face-to-face classes na. Of course, nagkaroon nga ng gap ng pandemic, hindi natin masyad, ah, may mga parts na hindi pa natin nabigyan ng emphasize o medyo naging challenges or yung ating mga teaching strategies before. Okay, ngayon, ito yung mga dapat natin na meron sila or ma-fast, ah, ma-hassled, ah, ma-develop sa kanilang mga skills regarding sa mga sounds, sa mga phonemic awareness, lalo na yung ating mga primary. Of course, dapat familiar na sila sa mga sounds of letters and vowel letters, of course. Yung fluency nila, of course, yung speaking skills nila, dapat medyo fluent na rin. Pronouncing up phrases, a word, or a sentence. And then, yung kanilang vocabulary skills, isa pa yan. Of course, yung kanilang knowledge, of course, sa mga uh, simple words, and how they will express their ideas and thoughts in the story they read. So, dapat yan na-develop na rin. At yung listening and writing skills din nila. Of course, continuous yung development niya. Ngayon, may face-to-face classes na dapat isa yan sa mga skills na dapat mahaba turo natin sa ating mga learners. Then, halim, uh, next is yung equip learners with reading skills to make them proficient and independent leaders in all grade level. Of course, isa na rin yan. Depende yan sa grade level natin. Dapat yung ating mga grade 5 pupils, grade 4, are independent readers na. Or proficient readers. Of course, there is a gap. So, dapat ma-equip natin sila at this time. Diba? We can give the strategies, the tools they needed for them to become an independent readers. Okay? So, isa po yan. Then, acquire the prescribed standard in literacy through innovative Uh, innovative teaching strategies. Ito rin. Through this program or this project, we can come up with different varieties of teaching strategies, application of information technology or ICT, of course, producing some learning materials, innovations of uh, teaching equipment that what will be helpful for them to become uh, literate. Of course, so mahalaga yan. So, we can come up with different innovations, different materials, di ba? In our own, that appropriate to their level through this project. Then, promote learning by providing many different paths for the student to construct knowledge about reading. Of course, through this program, we can be more creative, di ba? Yung nga, innovative in producing different activities, di ba? That will be helpful for them to become an independent readers. Okay? Through this project, of course, mas madadevelop natin yung kanilang mga pagbasa, di ba? Listening skills, writing skills, di ba? Through different plans of activities, di ba? Mas mahabol natin yung mga time na, of course, nagkaroon ng challenge with them. Then, ma-assess ma- ma- natin sila ano ba yung mga parts of their reading skills na medyo low o mababa. So, yun. Pwede po yun. Makapag-come up tayo dun ng mga strategies or activities appropriate to their level. Next, ito yung mga persons involved on this project. Of course, our class advisor. di ba As a class advisor, you're the one who know your students. Well, di ba Students, of course, ang ating mga learners, our reading coordinator or your school reading coordinator, English and Filipino coordinator, your school head, of course, with the parents also. Diba? It's a collaborative effort for us to uh, to develop the reading skills. Diba? Yung mga ano natin yung through this project. Ano ba yung mga re-recover natin through the reading skills. Diba? With the help of our reading coordinator, we can plan a project or 
activities, di ba? Our English and Filipino coordinator can quality assure all the materials or reading materials that will uh, be imposed on this project. Then, ano ba yung program matrix natin? Of course, activity like this or this project must be fully implemented through a well-planned program. So, ito po yung mga plan activities and strategies. Una, of course, we have the month activities at yung mga persons responsible. So, we start with the December at this year, di ba? Magkakaroon muna ng meeting with the teacher and school head to introduce this project. Di ba? Yung ating mga school head, meeting coordinator, class advisor, at Filipino English coordinator, all the, all the persons involved on this activity. Then, they will have an in-person meeting with your parents when the our when the project is approved by our principal or our school head, we can now introduce it to our parents, di ba? We can show them the meetup, uh, the activities of this project, di ba? Sila po yun. Then, December also, we can create, assure, and distribute our reading materials. It can be in form of digitalized or hard copy. So, maganda po dito ang involve yung ating mga LRMDS coordinator, quality assurance team of the school, Diba? Yung ating mga class advisors at yung mga Pilipino English coordinator. We need to quality assure the materials or reading materials because it's very important to see all the class, uh, to, to see it's appropriate with the level, diba, of our learners. Then, we can conduct an individual pre-assessment reading okay, on this month. Diba? Ito na yung start ng ating program. We need to assess them who are among the readers are, diba, need more remediation program or strategic, uh, more focus diba, on this activity. Okay. For, uh, pwede po natin dito gawin yung fill area and our uh, graph for primary level. Then, on December also, ito yung mga best practices that involve on this project na dapat natin implement. Okay, award. So, it could be a word a day. Diba? It's very important with the meaning, with the pronunciation, with the sentences sample. So, yung po. A, pa, a paragraph a week. Okay, so they can read a paragraph. They can answer some questions related with a paragraph. Story reading. Worksheets, you can provide also this one. Partner reading is also a good way. They can, uh, yung mga sa classroom yun na very excellent in terms of reading, they can partner with the one who had problem in reading. So they can tutor, tutor it or assist it. Assist the person, uh, the student. Then, meron din tayong cross-grade reading bodies. Pwede rin po ito. Pag sinabi natin, cross-grade reading bodies, yung mga nasa higher level, they can teach the lower level, uh, like grade 3, pwede, uh, grade 4, pwede na ito ng uh, grade 3 for some students in grade 3 sa pagbasa. Okay? Yung mas mataas na level. Pwede rin grade 6. Kung mukha tayo sa grade 6, they will teach the grade 4 level. Pwede po yun. Then, monitoring and evaluation is part also of the activities. The reading coordinator must monitor and evaluate all the monthly activities of this project so that it will be fully implemented. So, mga involved dito yung mga advisors, teachers, coordinators of English and Filipino, pupils and parents as well, and the, our school head for monitoring. So, maganda in-involve talaga din natin ang parents. They must be aware on this project. They can prepare a folder, organized folder for the, or other notebooks for the AWAD and for the APAW. And then, the compilation of star reading worksheet. Diba? That will be given on them monthly or every day. So, yun po. Then, for January, we will again distribute a reading materials, digitalized or hard copy. It uh, it can be, mas maganda po kung monthly tayo before the start of the month, nagdi-distribute na tayo ng mga materials for them. Okay? For the whole month. So, awad pa rin, apaw, star reading, worksheets, partner reading, or cross reading, grade reading bodies. Then, monitoring and evaluation. Then, same with the person, the class advisor, reading coordinators, yung Pilgrish Filipina teachers, and our school head involved also with this. For February, uh, same with the first other month. Dito lang po po, meron tayong distribution of reading materials. Again, at the start of the month. Then, APAW, uh, AWAD, uh, Star Reading Worksheet pa rin, Partner Reading, Cross Reading, Bodies. At pwede na po natin isingit naman dito yung additional na reading tutorial. You can, as an advisor, you can teach and individually, uh, pwede may assign what that day kung sino yung pababasahin ninyo on the Monday, on Tuesday, sino yung learners, 
how many are they, like, three learners a day, pwede po yun. Sinutorial natin sila. Pwede po yun on this month. So, part din siya ng program. Diba? It can be helpful also. Then, for March, ayan. So, March, magdidistribute din tayo ng reading materials. Implementation natin yung AWAD, APAW, Star Reading Worksheet, Partner Reading, Cross Reading, at pwede tayo dito maglagay naman ng Celebrity Reader. We can invite a delegates from other sections, other grade level, other teachers, diba? Other reader, uh, good readers to have a storytelling in our section. Pwede po yun. Diba? So, pwede rin siya. Like, in a week, pwede dalawa ang invites nyo or isa, pwede na yun. Po, makaapat kayo this month. So, it can be part of a project. So, napakaganda rin nun. Activity na yun. So, your celebrity reader can be additional on this month. So, monitoring and evaluation also. For April, ayan. So, ito po, magdidistribute tayo tayo at the first week yung mga digitalized and hard copy. Mag-implement tayo ng award, award a day, apaw, Star Reading Worksheet, Cross Read, Partner Reading, Cross Grade Reading, Bodies, and Storytelling. Pwede rin po dyan, Storytelling. Okay, insert naman natin Storytelling. Pwede po dyan, in a form of PowerPoint presentations, application of ICT, will be uh, helpful also. Then for me, ayan. So me, ganun pa din, implement pa rin natin yung AWAD, a word a day, APAW, Star Reading Worksheet, Partner Reading, and Cross Grade Reading Bodies. So, dito po sa May, pwedeng, uh, of course, dapat yung word natin, ang awad, sinusulat ng mga bata, binagbasa nila in their other notebook. Na doon po yung awad at yung apaw, pwede po yun. Doon magkasama sila. Compilations, then inform the parents that it must be read every day. Okay, and must be from a uh, master. ba diba? Mababasa nila. Lagi sila magbabasa during at home, especially during weekends. Always remind our parents. Kasi it's not only for the teacher's responsibility, but also it's a collaborative effort of the students and their parents with the support of their parents. And that's very important. Next is for June. Ayan. So June naman po, ganun pa rin, magdidistribute pa rin tayo ng kanilang hard copy and digitalize. Apaw, Award, Star Reading Worksheets. At dito po, pwede na tayo mag-conduct ng ating post-assessment reading test through EGRA and feel eerie. Okay? So, pwede siya maging part nun. So, post-test na. It will be very cru uh, crucial because this, the time we will test how effective our project. Diba? We can measure the effectiveness of this program. Diba? So, it must be uh, yung mataas yung score nila dapat dyan. So, monitoring and evaluation pa din with the school head for June. Then, for July, is the submission and activity and completion report. Okay, for this one, before that, uh, maganda, during monthly, you have MOBs na ginagawa. Monthly uh, records, narratives, and documentations, and some outputs of their program. Para during the last school year, you can compile it and can be ready for submission for completion report. Okay, so, yan po yun. Yung halimbawa, ng ating mga program matrix for our Reading Recovery Plan Project. Okay, so, may objectives. Dapat ma talaga natin yan. It's very important. But, for the implementation of mga best practices and activities, if you have uh, additional that you are implementing in your school regarding the reading uh, activity, you can insert it also. Pwede nyo po siyang idagdag dyan sa mga activities. Okay? So, ngayon, kung may tanong kayo sa video na to, huwag po kayong maya. Type nyo lang sa comment section sa baba. At na gusto nyo itong video na please click the like button. So, maraming salamat. Till next time, with Teacher Bean.